The next question says to us, that was two marks, free easy peasy marks. Calculate the actual distance in kilometers from Mossel Bay to East London. If the distance on the map, you see, now they're telling us, if the distance on the map is 60 millimeters. So what am I doing? I have to go and calculate what it would be in real life in kilometers, but I'm going to um, panic about that later. So now I've gone on the map and I've measured 60 millimeters. This is how I would write it. Number three, one unit is to 10 million units. And I know because the 10 million units is in real life and the 60 is on the map, it means that I'm going to be finding out what's going on here. My answer is going to be in millimeters. So I'm going to cross multiply because I'm a cross multiplier and I'm going to divide with that one that I did not use. It's going to give me a very big number. So it's going to be 60 times 10 million. One, two, three. One, two, three. Big number. 600 million. So it's going to be 60. We want to see you showing it. You need to show it. Okay. It's going to give you 600. We just did it now. Eh? 600 million. But this is 600 million millimeters. We need to convert these millimeters into kilometers. And if you're converting millimeters into kilometers, you're going to use um, that scale that we always use. So what would I start with? Millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer. So if I'm moving, okay, let me, let me do it the other way around because I want to start with the bigger one. Kilometer, meter, centimeter, millimeter. So if I'm moving from here to here, I need to multiply by a thousand. I need to multiply by a hundred. And then I need to multiply by 10. Going backwards, I would then divide. So I would divide that by 10. I would divide that by 100 and then I would divide that by 1000. And if you feel like you cannot remember this, go write it at the back of your paper. There's always scrap paper that you are given or at the bottom of the question paper. So now I am moving from millimeters all the way to kilometers. So how many zeros do I have? I have one zero, three zeros and then six zeros because I've combined all my zeros. Um, unless if you want to first say 600 million divided by 10, then divide by 100, then divide by 1,000. But I choose to go and divide it um, with those six zeros, meaning that I'm going to eliminate six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my answer is going to be 600 kilometers. Does it make sense? It always needs to make sense to us. Did you see how much time I went and I spent on that question? Um, that question is out of three, so it's worth the marks. So it says to me, the, it's the distance between um, Mossel Bay and East London. It does make sense that it would be about 600 kilometers. So think about those things when you are given um, a question that is like that. Stunning. The next question that I have says to me here, the bus took seven hours and 26 minutes to travel from Bloemfontein to Grahamstown. So we've got time again. Okay. Calculate the average speed in kilometers per hour that the bus traveled if the distance from Bloemfontein to Grahamstown um, is 500 and 97 kilometers and then they tell us what we can use so we're calculating the average speed and we are given a formula for every speed you will be given such formula so you don't have to cram them okay let's go and write that down what have we been using four so we are told that we can use speed 
is equal to distance all over time. The distance that we have been given is 597 kilometers. So we want to give our answer in kilometers per hour. So we need to be careful. And because we want to give our answer in kilometers per hour, we have been given 7 hours and 26 minutes. What do I want to do? I want to convert these minutes into hours as well because I do not want to um, have a problem. So I'm going to convert this and I'm going to make it 7 hours and then I'm going to say 26 over 60 because that's 26 minutes and we've got 60 minutes in an hour. Now some calculators you have to put that add in there because it will not be automatic. But with the particular one that we are using, you don't have to put that in there. So you need to decide exactly what it is that you are going to do. This is why it's important for you not to um, go into an exam without using your calculator first. Let's remove all of this so that we can put it here. So we're dividing that by uh, seven hours, seven hours. And I'm going to plus that with 26 over 60 because we're converting the minutes into hours. Let's see how much it gives us. So it's going to be um, 597 divided by 7 hours. And I'm just going to add it there because I don't want to make a blender um, 16 so 80 80.31 I'm gonna round it off to two decimal places because it doesn't say to me um, that I need to con I mean leave it as a whole number so I'm gonna say 80.31 Very slow speed, <laughs> but sometimes maybe they didn't count the stops in between or maybe this person was stopping in between and maybe they were driving at 120, but we're not sure. So don't try to manipulate it. And it does make sense. South African time, kilometers per hour, you can drive at 80.31 kilometers per hour. It always needs to make sense to you. Always needs to make sense to you.